A lot of people have issues continuing conversations, making things interesting. A lot of people also think I script these videos for some reason. I don't script a single thing. I just ramble and continue to go through. They're wondering how I do that. How do I do this without a script? How do I continually speak and have an endless flow state of speaking? Because I put myself in a position of somebody that has to do that. Let me explain how to make anything interesting. How would you describe getting some toast? You could say, I ate toast in the morning. Or you could say, I arose from my slumber and I ate some carbohydrates in a square shape. You're just extending the words. It doesn't make it interesting. That's not good. You're just giving more descriptions. Jimmy Neutron with the salt. Oh, this is sodium chloride. No one does that. No, that's not good. No. What you need to do is add illusions, much like I did with Jimmy Neutron. You need to add some extra oof to your speech. Oof, flair. Do some inflections. The vocabulary, one might say. Add a little bit of stride to your voice. Add a little bit of vernacular instead of what you say. Make it fun. Add some some emphasis on the words that don't matter. Maybe even the words that don't really mean anything. Add extra parts to it. How to make anything, and I mean anything interesting, is being passionate about worthless mundane nonsense. Let's talk about the toast and the bread this morning. I got up out of bed. I don't like getting up out of bed, but I decided to do that today because I had work. My stomach had the rumblies that only bread could satisfy. Bread is a good detractor. Helps keep the food down there, gets you filled up. That's why restaurants like to put you on bread. Notice what I did in that. I described my emotions, my feelings, how I hate bread, how I don't like eating breakfast in the morning. I described everything, every little piece. Action. Go. Uh, cut. Director. Described every little piece of it, all of it. I described how I felt throughout each moment of my steps. I took my right step and noticed that leg day was yesterday. I almost forgot. I shook a little bit. I jiggled. I rejigulated. Increasing the vernacular. I rejigulated. Increasing the vernacular. Good right there. Took a step to my left. My left leg wasn't as bad, so I decided to hop a little bit to the door. I gripped the door and noticed that I was a little bit weak in my arms. Why am I weak in my arms? Turns out I slept on them. And I was waiting for the blood to rush back. You ever sleep with a lover and then your arm goes numb but you don't want to move because you're happy to finally have the touch of a woman? Yeah, that's me every night. Sleeping with my stuffed animals. Anyways, boom. Illusion. Bring it back. Talking about the depression. A little bit of self-deprecation humor. But at the same time, I love stuffed animals so it's not really self-deprecating. I'm describing things as it goes on. Let's keep going forward. After that. I opened the door with a Gregorian mite and turned and noticed that I'm out of the delicious, tasty morsels that are akin to cake. I am out of them. I do not have them anymore. I am out of bread. I hate that for myself. Maybe if I was a better planner. Or maybe, had my roommate had not eaten all of the bread, perhaps that would have been great. Now I'm bringing other people to it. Now I'm adding characters. Now I'm bringing a story to the bread thing. But then I noticed there's two pieces of butt bread or end bread, whatever the people call them. Butt bread, two pieces. I decide to make a struggle sandwich. I notice I have butter and I have peanuts. I don't have peanut butter. I got butter and peanuts. So I toast the bread, put some butter on one piece of bread, and then I eat peanuts. And that's the closest I'm going to get to peanut butter. Because I got work in 20 minutes. And I need something in my stomach because my boss is going to be mad. Because I know I'm going to be late. Because I'm 30 minutes from my job. And I didn't shower. I didn't do anything of that variety. Because if I'm 2 minutes late, might as well be 8 minutes late. If I'm 8 minutes late, then I'm 30 minutes late. Might as well not show up to the job. And boom. I've given you context. I've added characters. I've made getting toast in the morning interesting. That is how you continue a conversation. But... What if it just naturally ends and there's nothing to add? There's always something to add. Don't act like there's not anything to add. There's always a different take you can have. It's not just right or left, up and down. There's also quarter diagonal, degree 86. There's so many different ways you can approach something. For instance, let's talk about Naruto for a second. Naruto! Well, he probably used the Shadow Clones to carry out responsible duties. It's messed up that he used the Shadow Clone to carry out responsible duties. That's on the right side. He used their shadow clones to get training again, and it's really efficient how he uses that. That's on the left side. I'm going to meet you right in the middle right here. I guarantee you that he used those shadow clones to have fun time with Hinata, and he actually every night uses 27 of those clones to take turns when he's exhausted. Boom! Whole new take. 
guess what? I'll brought it to the forefront. There's always something to add. Don't act like there's not anything to add. I said 27, well, we got 26 clones, 25 clones, 38 clones. There's an infinite amount of numbers. You can use anything. You can grab any aspect of your life. If you are good at something, be great at it. If you're great at something, be exceptional. If you're exceptional, then why aren't you promoting it online? People love exceptional people. Are you truly exceptional or only good in your hometown? Talk about it. You're good at playing football, and you're good at doing drag, and you're good at talking about cooking. Well, guess what? Bring those three things together. All three. Boom, bang, boom. All three. Bring them all together. I said that to somebody at Art Gallery a few days back. Bring it all together. That's what you got to do. People ask me, how do you do this? Is this come naturally for you? Yes and no. It's a combination of both. This is obviously a skill. It took some time to get to this level. It took some time to be this person. I didn't naturally just have this, but I never doubted myself. Even when I messed up and fumbled over my words, I still kept going. I still kept believing in myself. If you see any other videos, you'll see and notice that I mess up a lot of the times, but I keep it all in there because I don't want you guys thinking I'm not a person. I want you guys to know that I'm a real being with human feelings and human emotions. I want you guys to know that I struggle. I want you guys to know that I'm actually here as opposed to some orchestrated, weird, pseudo-intellectual personality that has this orchestrated team of people that mess up with my PR and things of that variety. No, I don't have a PR. I don't have a manager. I organize everything myself. It sucks. I hate it. I schedule my videos myself. Only support I got is my friend Izzy, sometimes my friend Kai, and my lovely, lovely, delicious wife. I say delicious because you know what I mean. Anyways, that's what I got. That's my team of supporters. What about your parents? No. What about that? No, I don't have that. What about that? No, I don't have that. I used to have a therapist. I could get back to my therapist. I really could. But I really don't need therapy anymore because I learned healthy coping mechanisms. You can succeed therapy. That's possible. You can succeed therapy. You can be a person. You can make anything interesting. It's possible to make anything interesting. It doesn't matter what the subject is. It doesn't matter how boring or mundane or, or drivel it is. If you are passionate about it, you can make it interesting. Because I need to see why you're passionate about it. I need to see why you're bringing it up. How is the weather today? Oh, it's a scorcher. The blazing heat of Hillel. The helios of the sun is messing with my entire body. I decided I was going to wear black today. I decided black lives matter, but these black clothes don't. This is incredibly painful. Add some comedy to it. Add some flair to it. Oh, do you like the rain? Do I like the rain? Can you feel the rain? Do I like the rain? I don't like being wet. I don't like it. I'm like, I'm like a cat. I don't enjoy that. I don't like being wet, but when I get in the water, I feel great, but not when I'm unwillingly getting in the water. That's rain. Rain sucks. It's depressing. But I like the smell after rain. It makes me tired. It makes me sleepy. I can use a good nap. Why do we get rid of naps? Boom, I went to a whole nother subject. I went on a tangent. That is how you make things interesting. And some people say, well, that's just yapping. That's not making it interesting. How do I make it interesting? Where's your passion? Don't just ramble. Don't say, um, uh, um, like, um, okay, so I, um, like, um, I stop those words. Those are nesting phrases that will mess up your entire speech and vernacular. Weed those out. Add other context. Go to a different subject that you know about. Somebody brings up, oh, I like horseback riding. I don't know much about horses, but I've seen Bojack Horseman. And that show made me depressed. You ever seen Bojack Horseman? No. Oh, you got Netflix? Well, no, I don't have Netflix. We just share a Netflix account. That way you can watch the shows that I watch and we can talk about shows together. You ever seen Great Brit British Bake Off? Great British, British, you stutter? I did stutter. I stutter and I shudder because I think you're amazing and it's hard to talk sometimes. You stutter sometimes too. No, no, I don't. You just did right there. Boom. Now we can talk. Now we're the same level. We both stutter, so we're both worthless. Boom. Guess what? We made it interesting. You can just keep talking. It's okay. Have conversation. And I'm guilty of not talking. I'm guilty of going silent. I'm guilty of clamming up. Happens to me all the time. Sometimes I don't know what to say next, but I still try. It's okay. It's okay, I'm not saying be perfect with it. That's unrealistic. Be realistic. I am on a podium by myself, though. If I'm on a podium by myself, I'm able to continue my thoughts by myself because I'm my greatest enemy and my greatest supporter. So I'm fighting with myself every day. My demons are winning, and I don't like it. This is how you make anything interesting. By being here. Being a person. One thing my wife complains about a lot with me is that I'm not present all the time. I'm not. I'm somewhere else most of the time. Sometimes I'm on my phone. Sometimes I'm doing that. And every, every which way. Because I have addictions. And you guys have that too. I'm not saying be present all the time. You can't do that. It's not realistic. But when you can, try your best. I'm not a perfect person. I don't try to be. I don't want to be. I just want to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday. How to make anything interesting? Try. Even when you can't. I'm going to go make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm actually really hungry right now. Bye.